Okay. Okay. Today I'm going to show you that uh, Angular works as like synchronously or asynchronously. So, what do you mean by synchronous? So, let's see. I have just wrote a code snippet, a simple code snippet. So, what I wrote that is console log one. Then I made a one for loop, which is length is 500 and the console log 3. So, if this is working like a synchronously, what happened that it will execute the first line then until the for loop doesn't complete it, it will never execute this third line. So, that is for the synchronous. Let's have a look first. So, we got the idea. So here is the code. See, this is the console. Is let me clear this. Okay, okay. Uh, now I start it. See what it does. It will print the first until and unless the for loop doesn't complete it. The third line doesn't go print. It means it means it's very clear that our angular code is working as a synchronous if you want to make that is a synchronous let's let me come comment this for you and uncomment this promise so i don't know whether you are aware about this promise but what promise does what i did this is a code snippet I just added the one function which is promise so what promise does it will just uh, return ok only after the for loop getting completed so I just uh, put one condition that is if I got uh, 299 or equal to 299 just pass the response as ok to this function so what it does it will call the promise function once it's completed the follow it will pass or it will send the result as a ok so i put uh, so how you get the, this result so after that after this function you can put this then function and in then function we will just print the console of two so in the previous what we get that is uh, cons uh, angular code is working like a synchronously okay now here what you find let's take a look first then we will identify whether it is working uh, synchronously or asynchronously with using homes yeah take a look let me clear this first then start see what do you get the first code printed first then three and then second so what will happen here this line printer first that is necessary we don't have uh, any doubt here now what we found that third line goes printed first instead of second so here what happened this code takes time because it will do the follow for the 300 times so what here happens is that after this code snippet the third line of code never waiting to complete this code so it will execute first after completed this follow this line will execute so this behavior we call the asynchronously so if line by line execution we call the synchronous and if it is if the code does if the next line doesn't wait for the completion of the previous one code that is called the asynchronous thank you so much